Hello and welcome back to Kanish Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss how we can evaluate negative gamma function or what if the value for gamma function is given in fraction, how we can find out the value. So let's see with the help of an example, okay? So if you see, let's say we have to find out the value of gamma 3 by 2, okay? or gamma 7 by 2. So remember this bit as I have already told you that okay if gamma 5 is given to us then its value will be 4 factorial that means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right. But if gamma is in the fraction form then you have to subtract 1 from it. So if you subtract 1 from 7 by 2 that means take LCM so 7 minus 2, that means 5 by 2, right? 5 by 2, multiply, again subtract 1 from 5 by 2 and keep doing the same. 5 minus 2 by 2, 3 by 2, then again 3 by 2 minus 1, that means 1 by 2. Now you can ask that up to, I mean, how many times we have to do it? So if you subtract further on, then half minus one would be in negative. So you have to keep uh, this up to this way only mm. and take gamma half, okay? Gamma of the last value, all right? So you'll see that the value you already know that the value for gamma half is root pi, right? We have already proved in our previous slides. So 5 times 3, 15. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And this is pi, root pi again. So this is the answer. Similarly, if you have to find out the value of root 3 by 2, I mean uh, gamma 3 by 2, sorry. So subtract 1 from 3 by 2, which is half. And then gamma half which we know it is root pi gamma half is root pi right now when it comes to negative uh, function then the formula which you can use is n gamma n gamma into gamma 1 minus n equals pi upon sine n pi bear this in mind this formula you can use in order to find out the negative gamma function. Let's say question is given that find out the value of gamma minus half. You can't say that okay my, take minus common and we know the value of a gamma, uh, gamma half is root pi. So it is minus root pi. Wrong. So what you need to do if you see this is your gamma n so substitute n as minus half okay in this formula. So this will be gamma minus half, 1 minus minus half, that means plus half, equals pi upon sine n, you have already taken minus half. So minus half pi, that means minus pi, right? okay? So this minus half you need to find out. This will be 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3 by 2, pi. You know the value of sine minus theta. It is minus sine theta. So that means minus sine pi by 2. You know the value of sine 90 is 1. So minus 1, right? This is the value. Then we have already found out that gamma 3 by 2 is root pi by 2, right? So minus half root pi by 2 equals minus pi. So value of minus gamma is minus 2 pi by root pi. One root will be cancelled with one root, I mean one down. So this is your answer for minus, uh, uh, minus gamma of minus pi by 2. So in this way you can find out the value of gamma functions which are in fraction form or in negative forms. I hope you understood this video and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye